going on everyone i have one last top 10 list for you guys and this is my top 10 most anticipated films of 2019 so if you're watching this after the new year's well happy new if you're watching it before yet still happy new year's to you one thing that i do want to address guys is again this is my list these are the top 10 films that i am personally looking forward to but i want to hear your guys's list down below so make sure to comment down below let me know what films you guys are looking forward to the most next year and also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are new here i love making movies i love talking movies i love talking and reviewing just all sorts of things anything that happens to do with movies i love doing on this channel so without further ado let's get to this top 10 discussion right now before i get to those top number 10 i do want to give some honorable mentions which i have john wick chapter 3 really almost got there aladdin i'm really curious about this film godzilla 2 i wasn't a fan of the original godzilla kong skyland was all right but godzilla 2 looks really good Spider-Man Far From Home, uh, Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, I didn't include this because as much as I'm curious to see how Mysterio is, I'm not liking some of the stuff they're saying about it, so I kind of got my temptations gone, plus the trailer hasn't shown up since of recording this. Zombieland 2, um, it's an honorable mention because I have no idea if this is actually happening, I just read about it. I'm hoping it does, it's supposed to start filming, but we'll see. Hellboy, like that new trailer, really like that new trailer. Hobbs and Shaw. Uh, they're the best part of the Fast and Furious franchise right now. And it's plus it's directed by the guy who did John Wick, so I'm on board for that. And my last one is Lion King. Again, this is honorable mention because I love the animated, so I'm kind of sitting there. It's kind of the same thing with Aladdin. I'm curious about it. I love the trailer so far. I'm loving the looks of all these teasers, but I need to truly see the film before I can really judge anything else. But... Like I said, that's my honorable mentions. So what's my number 10? Well, my number 10 is actually going to be Pokemon Detective Pikachu, or maybe it's the opposite, Detective Pikachu, Pokemon, whatever it is. I'm really excited about this movie. I wasn't initially when they announced it, but after that first trailer, I was sold and on board with this film. The fact that you have Detective Pikachu, Pikachu himself, becoming the star of this, and just Ryan Reynolds voicing, it kind of seems weird. But it just works. That trailer seems like what Happy Time Murder should have been, but this one looks better. And I'm all down for it. I'm. It could be crap. It could be one of the worst films next year. The CGI looks cool for the Pokemon. I'm all for it. I can't wait for Detective Pikachu. Which brings me to my number nine, which is It Chapter 2. Now, the first It was one of my favorite films of that year. It, it brought me closer to, it made me meet a lot of YouTubers, especially Cody Curtis, who you see on this channel a lot. And I am so excited for It Chapter 2. It falls at number nine, though, because I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen anything really for this film yet, but I'm still really curious about it. It's a Stephen King thing. It's adapting from that, that first one we have. It's a film back-to-back. -back. New cast. Love the adult cast. Love the director that's on board for this. I love what he did with the original one. I'm hoping this one's scarier but again it's at number nine i'm really excited for it i'm psyched i'm curious to see if pennywise and what they'll change from the books this time i mean i'm wondering if we're gonna get that talking turtle at yeah, number eight is the joker film with joaquin phoenix and todd phillips directing this now i'm dying to see this jo joaquin phoenix is hands down the best actor working today and I mean that. Just because Daniel Day-Lewis retired, I think Joaquin Phoenix is the best actor working today. And him playing the Joker is everything that I could have ever wanted. Todd Phillips directing it after War Dogs. Do whatever you want, Todd Phillips. I'm on board for it. I'm hoping it's rated R. I'm hoping for good things. I don't know. I'm a little nervous, but I'm still excited for this film overall. The makeup looks good. Everything we're seeing behind the scenes looks great. Still no trailer, though. I don't expect one for a little bit longer. Maybe that'll bump it up a little bit more on my most anticipated. Right now, it falls falls at number eight. Yeah, at number seven is gonna be Star Wars Episode Nine. Now, this would probably have been bumped up if I had seen a trailer or any footage or photos of it so far, but I haven't. There hasn't. I don't think we'll get anything till Star Wars Celebration. I'm one of the people who enjoyed The Last Jedi. Initially, when I came out, a little bit disappointed. Saw it again, really liked it. Actually, kind of loved aspects of it. I actually love a lot of aspects of it, but it still felt weird after force awakens which i contend that force awakens is one of the best star wars films of all time given i know that's a little controversy to some people but i'm looking forward to episode 9 and how they end it and where jj takes it next i'm curious it has my speculations it has my theories but in the end of the day when i made all those for force awakens and then i got last jedi it just got thrown out the door so i'm not really theorizing on this i just want to see the film and judge it for myself. Brings me to number six, which I will be seeing very, very soon, and that is M. Night Shyamalan's Glass. Now, I'm a big fan of M. Night Shyamalan. Put aside After Earth, definitely put aside Avatar. I enjoy what this guy has done. Sixth Sense, great. 
Unbreakable, masterpiece. Split, fantastic. Signs, my favorite film personally of his. I like The Village. I like Lady in the Water. I like this guy's creative mind. And I even like The Visit. And I understand not a lot of the last two I just said people don't love. But I happen to like what M. Night Shyamalan does. I think he's a good director. I think Split got him back on the market. And I think Glass looks excellent. I love Unbreakable. I loved Split. And I'm curious to see how this trilogy ends off, especially with bringing back Bruce Willis, David Dunn. I'm so pumped. Bring me it now. Coming in at number five is a film that I've seen no footage for, just a couple photos, but I know who's in it and I know who's directing it. And it's Quentin Tarantino's new film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I get people do not like Tarantino at this moment because of some controversial stuff with Uma Thurman. But I have to say, when you have Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and a whole bunch of bigger cast with Margot Robbie also getting thrown in there, and it's throwing it back into the old days of the Hollywood days, I'm all on board for this. This kind of takes me back to the days of when Tarantino would make Pulp Fiction, which is my second favorite Tarantino film. I just love seeing Tarantino's films. It's an event for me. The dialogue, the stories, everything that happens within the film. I'm just dying to see this film as of right now, especially since this is his first film, not a part of Harvey Weinstein. It's going to be curiously different to see what a studio lets him do. And I think the studios are probably going to like, do whatever you want. You're Tarantino. And I, again, I'm one of the people who liked Hateful Eight. I love the Django and Shane, and I'm a big fan of Tarantino. So, Bring me it. It's a Tarantino film. It's an event film for me. But coming in at number four is going to be Shazam. Shazam is hands down one of my favorite DC characters and one of my favorite superheroes of all time. I was super excited for this film when they announced that Pony Smasher, uh, David F. Sandberg was going to be doing it. I was all for it. Even more excited. Then you announced that Zachary Levi, who I think is one of the most underrated actors in Hollywood. I hope this role does what Chris Pratt, what um, Star-Lord did for Chris Pratt back in um, the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I think this is going to do what it did for him. I love Zachary Levi and Chuck. It's one of the best TV shows ever made. If you've never watched it, if you're a geek, you're a nerd, you're going to love it. But I'm so pumped to see what he does with Shazam. I'm so excited. Shazam, again, is one of my favorite superheroes of all time. That first trailer exceeded any expectation I wanted, threw it out the window. I don't need to see anything else. I just want to be there first day, so count me in. And number three. Oh, God, I wanted this to be number one, but the two trailers came out before this, and uh, it's Story Story 4. Toy Story 4 is my number three. It's one of my most anticipated films of next year. Biggest reason being is I am the biggest Toy Story fan out there. I love Toy Story to death. It's literally my favorite franchise of all time and one of my favorite films of all time. And I just have grown up with Toy Story since I was literally born. Uh, Woody and Buzz have always been a part of my life. And I get it. A lot of people don't think we need this. And I'm not saying we need it either. But I'd be lying if I don't want to go on another adventure with these guys. I'd be lying if I don't want to. I'm about to start crying and tearing up because I'm so excited for Toy Story 4. I don't know what the story is. I don't know if they flip flop the Bo Peep stuff. Apparently, she's still in it. I don't know. I just hope whatever this is about is that it works and it doesn't need to tie in to the franchise but it just is a nice addition and a nice story that makes me just my heart feel so warm and it's not a cars 2 i don't think it will be i'm so excited though it's story story 4 come on and i know a lot of people aren't gonna be excited for it but come on that that trailer just i'm on board i'm on board with everything they do with this film and number two and a couple days ago this was really low on my list i like probably number 10 but it got pushed up out of this trailer, and that is Us. Jordan Peele's new horror film, and I'm a horror fanatic. I am all on board for horror, and Get Out was one of the most surprising films I'd seen that year, and it was also one of my favorite films of that year, and now I get Us, which looks more conventional horror, but different. It looks insane, and I'm all for it. I want to see Us right now. That trailer is one of the best trailers I've seen in the last couple of years. And now Jordan Peele can just have my money. Just let me throw it at the screen. Just take it. It's only a couple weeks away. Get me there now. But what is my number one? And without it being any sort of surprise, it's Avengers 4 Endgame. I went flip-flopping between a lot of these films, but I, I looked at this list and I said, damn. I'm like, if I had to pick three films to see for the rest of the year... It would be Us, Toy Story 4, and Avengers Endgame. And then I was like, damn, if I had to choose only one of those to see this year and I couldn't see any other films, it would have to be Avengers 4 Endgame. Uh, Us being really close to it, but the fact is Infinity War left me with my jaw on the floor and not knowing what's going to happen. The first trailer for Avengers 4 left me so many questions, but it was like a nice little short film getting me to like, okay, now I'm on board. Just give me the film. I don't need to see any other trailers. And usually I'll watch every other trailer, but... I'm not watching anything else for Avengers 4. 
I don't want to. I don't want to see the poster. I don't want to see anything. I want to go straight into this film so surprised and so excited of what's going to happen next. And that is what I'm excited for. I know nothing about it. I've seen some set photos. I've seen some theories. I've made my own theories, but I'm ready to just throw them out the window and just go into this film and get some different type of stuff. I I just think Endgame... I hope it lives up to my expectations. It's my number one most anticipated film of the next year. And I think that's going to be up for a lot of you guys, unless you're not Marvel fans. Then maybe us might be up there for my friend personally. That's how it is. But it, it's freaking Endgame. I have to be that excited. But for most anticipated film of 2019, let's talk about it. Tell me your list down below. Top 10 honorable mentions. Let's discuss it, guys. And again, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Then also hit up Sandwich on Films down below because right down there, you guys can get into advanced movie screens. You can check out some movie news and even some movie reviews. But guys, until next time, Stay classy.